Welcome to my channel Devs Today I'll be doing another video on the expenses chart component I've already done that challenge on my on my channel and the video is there But today I'm going to simplify it for juniors who want to do it very quickly and if possible in a short time So I'll be using ChartJS which is a free open source JS library for data visualization As you can see from our chart we are going to be using a bar chart So visit the, visit the web page of chartjs.org and get all this information readily available for you to do So for me to start off this challenge as you can see i've already have a boiler template that i have here which which you can use to it, it the boiler template I've, I've already done some styling css as you can see as well as the index file please go go ahead and download it inside my in, in, inside the link below in the description so for me to start off for me to start off i need to follow the steps the easiest steps that they have here First of all, I'm going to copy this HTML code. Just click on copy and paste it inside your document. They right here. Okay, you can just delete. This is where we are going to be having our chart JS file. Now, after that, we need to follow the next step. We now need to, to import a chart js in, inside our inside our inside our web page for me to do that i need to copy this script link tabs and paste them inside your file remember to save everything after that we need to follow the next the next the next instruction is that we now need to add our we now need to create our cheat as we add a javascript code inside our inside our page but for me to do that i need to copy this one this is the one that is that is for the type of a bar chart so just copy the code and come inside our code editor move this link and paste it there now let's have a look at the changes that we have made now as you can see we've, we've successfully imported a chart but now i need i now need to do some edits so that it looks as close as possible to the design first of all i'm going to change the labels here the Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and include Sunday as well Let's take a look at the changes that we have applied. As you can see, now let's make more changes. Now I'm going to say change the label to US dollars. Let's take a look at the changes that I've made. Yes, you can see the changes have been made. Now I'm going to change on the amounts that have been set so that they they, they they match appropriately to our challenge the first one is 34.9 dollars 34.91 then the second one is 52.36 then the next one is 31.07 27 23.36 43,28 Then the last one is 25,48 Let's take a look at the changes that we have applied There you can see the amounts have changed Now let's take a look at The changes Now you can see the changes have been applied now let me have a look at the design after that i'm going to change the color codes for brown color let me it's according to the design 
we've got the brown color in the in the blue color so let me change the blue color is on the third column so i need to read the initial one 17 comma 45 let's let's take a look at the design yes now let's change the color codes Two hundred and twenty-eight, seventy-three, thirty-one. Let me check on the brown color. Now is the time to copy. And the last one inside some brackets let's take a look at the changes yes now let's have a blue color for the tallest one to get the progress now is the time to change the, the the border the border color for me to do that i just need to copy the color code for the brown color so that it matches Let's take a look at the progress that we have made. Now, check it, check note the color code for the blue for the for, for the tallest blue color needs to change. For me to do that, I just need to copy its color code. Now, let's time to re let's, let's improve the opacity so that they are different is as you can see from the design eight nine eight seven seven eight nine let's take a look at the view as you can see but now i want to improve the opacity to make it zero to make it one sorry to increase the opacity of the border color let's take a look at the changes that we have made there you see the challenge has been successfully completed. So this is how you can best do the challenge and complete it in a short space of time. Thank you.